in. It's fall, y'all. <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. It's 36. What was that? Did you just fart? I'm recording. It's 36 degrees outside and we're gonna go walk. We're gonna make it feel like fall today and damn it, the leaves better be changing. Why does it look like I have a dark thing on my... That's better. God, I am a mess today. Let's go. All right, guys, but before we go, I wanted to show you this shirt because yesterday I just put on this shirt. I used to wear it all the time, just a casual shirt, and it is a freaking tent on me. Look at this. It's huge. I cannot even believe this. This is like, it's like you don't really notice how much weight you lost until your clothes start feeling like a tent on you. And this used to fit like tight against my belly. And now look at it. I mean, it's a great feeling. So now this has been demoted to nightshirt material, but I'm going to wear it today to walk because who cares? Well, the leaves are starting to change. They're basically going from yellow to brown on these birch trees. All right, I see some orange in this one for sure. Maybe I'm just not giving it enough time. Hurry up and change, leaves. Hurry up and change. Oh my God, y'all, look at this one. This is beautiful. Wow, that's gorgeous. I think these are cottonwood trees. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong and you're from Colorado because I'm not 100% sure about the trees, but I think these big giant ones are cottonwoods. Say hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> we had a great walk and I'm starving. I've been having a really hard time with food lately. Like, I only want to eat like sausages and cheese cubes and I haven't been eating very much. Um, I don't know, there's just something about being on keto that like eating is like a chore now that I have to make myself do and I'm not used to that. I'm used to just being a glutton and just giving in to my pleasure. <laughs> so this is kind of like a new territory for me. So we're gonna stop by Carl's Jr. and get some breakfast and I'm gonna tell you a keto breakfast that you can get from there that is really good and really easy to order. Hey, what can I get started for you? Let me get a breakfast burger combo. Uh, small okay. with Dr. Oh. Pepper. Alrighty, what else can I get for you? Uh, can I get a steak and egg burrito with uh, no tortilla, just like in the bowl? So no tortilla at all? Yeah. Woo, look at that hair. My mullet is out of control, y'all. <laughs> I'm starting to look like a country singer from the 80s. So this is my order from Carl's Jr. or Hardee's. It's called Hardee's in some places in the U.S. This is a steak and egg burrito with no tortilla. That's all you have to order. And it is so good. It's egg, steak, cheese, and there's like jalapenos and onions and tomatoes in there. Oh my God. It's so good. It's a little bit spicy, but it doesn't come with anything that's really carby. So you can just order it like this with no tortilla and you're good to go. They did actually screw up our order this time. Usually they don't, but they gave me a bacon I think they heard bacon when Andrew ordered instead of steak, so we had to send it back, but usually they get the order right. I think it was somebody new on the register too, which I totally get what that's like. Mmm, you can see the uh, jalapenos in there, the cheese and the steak. Oh my god, this is my favorite like fast breakfast to get from a fast food place. It actually has some vegetables in it. Surprise, surprise. Mmm. And to wash it down, a Diet Coke. What'd you get, Andrew? Hi, Andrew. <laughs> I didn't say, say hi. I got a breakfast burger <gasps> combo. It's got hash browns and bacon and egg on it. Let me see. And it's a burger. Oh, that is, that is gnarly, baby. A burger with egg and hash brown and bacon mm -hmm. on it. Oh, well, really good. You know what I miss are these little guys right here. These little hash brown rounds are so good. I miss those. Y'all, we got this Himalayan salt lamp. 
check it out. It is so cool. And we're gonna replace the lamps in our living room with this. These were Andrew's grandma's lamps and she has passed away. She was a very sweet lady. And we've been using these lamps for years, but they are honestly not really our style. So we're gonna replace them with crystal lamps. All right, we're gonna move this one out of the way and then we're gonna replace it with this one. Wow, it looks so like bare and open over there <laughs> without the big lamp. We're gonna have to get something to like hang on the wall up there. Uh, you wanna plug it, you wanna turn it on? It's lovely. Look at that glow, y'all. I bought this off of Etsy. I have seen these lamps like in stores and stuff, but I got this one from an Etsy shop. So I'll link to it down below if you're interested. Now here's how it looks from back here. Like I said, now that wall looks so bare. I think I'll hang a shelf or something up there. Y'all, I'm very excited to introduce Andrew's new tattoo. He just got it done two days ago. So he still has like that plastic thing that you have to keep on it for a week. But it's a king gizzard. I'm trying to get it without the shine on it. Here, turn a little bit. It's a king gizzard in the lizard wizard lizard in the middle of a galaxy background. And I think it's going to look amazing. He can't take this thing off for like another five days. But then we're going to see what it looks like. It took like... Four and a half hours? Is that how long it took? A long ass time. Yep. Bottom stop. <laughs> no breaks. Andrew was late for work for this. It was worth it. <laughs> I think it's going to look really cool. And this is just the beginning of his arm. So he just started here and then he... Oh, oh, I didn't mean to touch it. Oh my God. Did it hurt? No. Okay. And then he's going to go down his arm with other ones. But um, I love it. I think it's going to look awesome. I'll show it to you guys again once it's healed and he can take the, uh, what do you call that? Second skin. The second skin off. Houseplant update. They're all doing great. I swear to God, this is the most random vlog I've ever made. I just have a lot of random crap going on in my life right now. So, <laughs> this is my Diefenbachia. It's got a yellow leaf. I think I'm going to snip that off. But, if you look at it from this side, it looks quite beautiful. It's getting really big. And it's got a new leaf. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, there we go. It's got a new leaf coming. And my pothos is exploding with growth. Since I moved it to this window, like look at all these new leaves coming in. It is thriving in this window. It just needed more light. It wasn't getting enough light in my kitchen. Uh-oh, it's got a bad leaf too I'm gonna snip off. My umbrella tree, once, a di once again, doing great. It did lose two leaves off of this stalk, and I don't know why. They just fell off, so I don't know if I did something wrong, but the rest of the plant seems very healthy. And we've got some new growth here in the middle on this one, too. You can see two new little leaves coming out of the main stalk. Snake plant is thriving, looking good. Little snake plant, not doing so hot. Big snake plant, doing great. <laughs> I honestly haven't done anything to the little snake plant, so. My big babies are about to be watered in the bathtub, and I know you guys have seen me do this before, but this is what I'm doing today. So, I'm showing you again. This is how I water my big plants. on this one. They're getting kind of dirty. And just when you thought things couldn't get any more disjointed in this vlog, this is a variety vlog. What can I say? Uh, I bought some new crystals and I want to share them with any of you guys who care? So I spent all day yesterday making a video, unboxing these crystals, talking in depth about crystals, and talking about my past and all kinds of crazy stuff, and I decided not to post it because 
I just felt it was too much. It was too much. So that's why you're getting a shorter vlog today. So I'm going to briefly show you guys what I got, but it's already been all opened. So the first thing I got is a box to put my new crystals in because I really needed a place for them to live. Right now the crystals that I currently have are just like loose in my supply cabinet. So I wanted a home for them and I bought this beautiful box and this is what it looks like. So on the front it is wood carved and this symbol is a triple goddess symbol if you're not familiar with that. It represents uh, the goddess in her maiden mother and crone form and there's a pentagram in the center which is not satanic okay so cool your jets I'm not a satanist not that there's anything wrong with that in my opinion anyway I just really loved this beautiful purple box that's why I wanted to get this one because it was purple this also comes in blue and natural wood so I'll put the link to this down below I first I found it on Etsy and I was gonna buy it on Etsy but then I found the exact same box on Amazon from the exact same seller and shipping was faster so what did I do I bought it from Amazon. I'm a terrible person. I'm sorry. I wanted my shit faster. It's from Dharma Objects is the name of the seller that sells these. And then I bought this set of crystals and healing stones. And I bought this off Amazon. I will put a link to it down below as well if you're interested because it was a really good value. You get 24 stones and it was only like $25. Enjoy the positive energy from the healing power, it says. So I'm just gonna quickly show you everything that it came with. First of all, you get a pamphlet, your very own pamphlet. Who could ask for more? It says, start your spiritual journey. Congratulations, the complete crystal set choose you. Well, that's a typo, isn't it? Each crystal is unique and has a different story to tell and has its own vibrational blueprints. You may have the this is it feeling the minute you lay your eyes on a certain crystal. I totally believe that because I definitely have ones that I feel more drawn to like amethyst and lapis lazuli which I didn't know I was drawn to lapis lazuli until I got one. So it comes with seven tumbled stones and seven raw stones. Now personally I prefer my crystals rough and raw. That's how I like it baby. <laughs> because I just feel like they're closer, like they're more in their natural state. And I just like the way they feel better than a tumbled stone. I don't know. But tumbled stones have their uses too. So I got seven tumbled, seven raw. For the tumbled stones, we got lapis lazuli, which is fantastic. We got a tiger's eye, one of my favorite stones, really great to wear and to give you courage. That's why I like to wear tiger's eye. A tumbled citrine, which is really good for if you have nightmares. It's really good to wear and, it's, and it can also promote psychic awareness. I got red jasper, which is such an interesting stone because to me it looks more like orange or burnt orange, but it's called red jasper. Also has a very protective energy. And it's great like if you're getting a lot of hate in your life to use red jasper because one of its properties is that it deflects negativity back to the sender. I got a beautiful tumbled amethyst. Of course, I love amethyst, the stone of peace. Helps to calm emotional storms, helps you to sleep better. Just, It's just an all-around wonderful stone for anybody. I got green aventurine, which I have never uh, really used a green aventurine before, but apparently it's good for luck, especially when it comes to money. The weirdest stone of all is the tumbled quartz crystal. Now this is such a strange stone to me because I grew up in a place where quartz crystals just grow in the ground. You can just dig them up. Like on my mom's property, we could just dig up quartz crystals because veins of them just like grow through the land there. And they are strip mined in that area, which is a very bad thing for the environment, but we're not gonna discuss that here. But anyway, there are big open crystal mines that you can go to and just dig up your own crystals. Just take a bucket down there and go to town. When I was growing up, we always had quartz crystals around. Like everybody I knew had quartz crystals. It was just like a part of our life because we lived there with them. I've showed you this before, but I'll show it to you again. This is my big cluster that I have. Unfortunately, this is the only cluster right now that I have from Arkansas, but it's gorgeous. Look at it, look at it shimmer. And you can, it still has like dirt and stuff in it because it just came right out of the ground. And like this is about as clean as you can get it unless you use like chemicals, which I don't like to do. So yeah, you could just find stuff like this out of the ground. So all the crystals that I've had in my life 
have either been dug up myself or I bought them from the crystal shops in my hometown because not only did they sell quartz, but they also sell other types of crystals. There was a time in my life when I lost everything I own, including all of my crystals. That's a discussion for another day. But now that I'm kind of like rediscovering my spiritual side, I kind of wanted to replenish my crystal stash. That's why I bought this sort of kit so that I could just get a bunch of different types of crystals at once just to get me started. So anyway back to my original thought that's the reason why a tumbled quartz is weird to me because we always just had raw quartz. I've never had a tumbled quartz before. It also came with a quartz point which is really cool because I don't have one of these and it's like partially clear, partially occluded. It's really nice. I love this. I, I was really excited to see this. Now for the raw stones, I got another rose quartz. Now this one isn't as large as the big one that I have that I used for meditation, but it's always nice to have more rose quartz around. Rose quartz is good for opening up your heart chakra, letting in love and friendship and peace and happiness. I got a raw amethyst, which is just in incredible you guys like as soon as I held this in my hands I could feel its energy amethyst just speaks to me I love it so much and it truly is the stone of peace and it can really help you if you have emotional regulation problems like I do thanks a lot BPD disclaimer I am in no position to give anyone advice on mental health issues I'm just saying it helps me okay don't take my advice in lieu of a professional. I got a raw lapis lazuli, which it just blew my mind when I saw this stone. It It's incredibly beautiful. I like it so much more than the tumbled one. Lapis lazuli is a very peaceful stone as well and one that I look forward to working with. I got an amazonite, which at first I thought this was an emerald. It looks very much like a raw emerald, except it's, I think it's a little lighter in color. And this was another good stone for luck. I got a smoky quartz. I always love to have smoky quartz around because it helps repel negative energy. Black stones are really good for that. You think it'd be the opposite, but it's not. Black stones help get rid of negative energies. And so I got this big old hunk of obsidian. Now obsidian is cooled lava. It's a naturally occurring glass which makes it so fascinating to look at. I just love the way it looks. And it's another great grounding stone or to help you get rid of negative energy. I got a black tourmaline, which I have never had one of these before. I have to look more into what the properties of this are because I don't know a lot about black tourmaline, but it certainly is a beautiful stone. And finally, this incredible crystal is called a sunstone. Look at its sparkle. This is a very protective stone and one thing I know about this stone is something you can do if you have one is you can put it in front of a white candle in your house and light the white candle and it will project healing energy into your home if you believe in that sort of thing which I do. I was really excited to get this incredibly beautiful sunstone and then I got some crystal like little crystal chips kind of. So I got a rose quartz, just like a bag of rose quartz, a bag of smoky quartz, a bag of clear quartz. You can never have too many, too many of these quartz in my opinion. And a stone that I've never heard of before called prehnite, P-R-E-H-N-I-T-E, prehnite. I don't know, I don't know um, exactly what that is, but I got a little baggie of these, so I'm gonna have to look into the properties of that one. According to the pamphlet, it calms the environment, revitalizing and renewing the surroundings. It also came with a selenite charging plate which is just a slab of selenite. Selenite absorbs negative energy and also it greatly magnifies the energy of anything that's placed upon it. So I was thinking I could charge my crystals on the selenite, make them even better. And finally, the last thing that came in this set is a necklace. It came with a rose quartz gemstone necklace. Now I don't have a rose quartz necklace, so I was very happy to see this. Uh, I'm going to add this to my collection. I love rose quartz. It's a fantastic stone. I'm going to put it on right now. Oh my god. I love how that looks on the black cord. I like that black cord better than I like the silver chains that my other ones are on. I think I'm going to have to get black cords for all my gemstones. How cute does that look? So that's everything that came in that set, guys, and it was under $25. So if you're wanting to get into crystals and crystal magic, this is a really good set to get started. And I'll link all that down below. I can 
highly recommend it. And here's how my crystal box is looking now. Isn't it beautiful? I just love to see all my precious stones. I'm like a dragon hoarding my jewels. I can't help it. I just love beautiful things. You know, I tried to be a minimalist, but y'all, it was just fighting against my true nature. It really was. I was like, I want to be a minimalist. It's so spiritual and awesome, but it wasn't. I was miserable with my bare walls and no pretty treasures to look at. I love beautiful things and I want to surround myself with beautiful things. I respect people who enjoy minimalism because I know for some people it can be stressful to have a lot of stuff around and I feel the same way if it's stuff I don't like. But if it's stuff I love, stuff that I have personally curated and I find to be beautiful, it makes me happier. So let me know in the comments, are you a minimalist or do you like things like me? I think that's gonna wrap up today's vlog because I have recorded all of this today because I was behind, because I wasted all my time on my other video, I don't know. So for the rest of the day, I'm gonna be editing this video and publishing it and I gotta do some house cleaning and stuff. But tomorrow, we're going shopping and I'm doing my way in. Cross your fingers for me. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys with a new vlog very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.